Ursula Lippitt says she's still shaking. When I first saw the trap, I was mortified. I mean, um, who would do such a thing? Someone setting hunting traps, victimizing innocent animals in her Baldwin neighborhood. One cat uh, had this clamp on its leg, this trap on its leg, and one of the residents here uh, was brave enough and uh, to remove the trap. Quite hard to pull that apart. I mean, I had to put it down on the deck and pushed down. Lippitz was scratched. The injured cat scurried away. It was just gut reaction. What to, I just had to get it off him. As many as six traps have been recovered here. One remains clamped to the paw of an elusive animal. There's another cat, a solid black cat with longer fur that is walking around front right paw. If you can imagine with this on it, he's being tortured in the sense. Law enforcement believes some homeowners may not be animal lovers and resent a local feral cat colony and dogs roaming through their yards. Volunteers arrived this week to help lay out cages to humanely capture the suffering animals rigged with cameras to smartphones for instantaneous notification. Our plan is to get the cat to a vet so we can get the leg trap off his foot. A raccoon wasn't so lucky. Its leg trapped in this jumping a fence got caught and perished. These traps are legal to purchase. It's uh, the intent and the methodology that they used that is questionable. And that's up to the district attorney to uh, bring charges. Anyone with information on the trappers is urged to call the Nassau SPCA. From Baldwin, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.